I really don't know what time it is here, but uh, <clears throat> it's dark, you know. I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, Jesus says now that the, the, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. Therefore, beg the master of the harvest that he might send out more workers into the harvest. Well, if you look at things right now, it doesn't look like that uh, the harvest is great, does it? I mean, really, it doesn't. It looks like it's all um, just willy-nilly. I mean, here and there, half and this and that. That's because it's that. That's because that. That's the way it is. You see, the wheat is still low down to the ground. It hasn't grown yet. It's in the stage of being. It's being nourished right now. You can't see it, and the nourishment is the light. The light exposes the darkness, so that you have to make a choice. You know, there are some people that have done such evil in the world. Mass murderers, say, for example. They really don't like the light, you see. Because they, it'll, be, it'll expose them as who they are. And they're going to be shame, everlasting shame on them, maybe, you know. So there's other people that their hearts are right, though. And 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 um, they just be, do wicked things because they don't want to be alone. You know, there's peer pressure and all of that, and they just want to be part of a group. You know, that's why people that are Freemasons, you know, they want to be p part of a group. Usually, it's the family that's involved in that, and they just join it because the family's in there. But when people begin to uh, um, uh, see that there's a way out, you see, is, is that there's an escape from all of that. They didn't really want to be that. They still have good hearts. So when they begin to understand that there's an escape from all of this, you see, then their hearts, oh, they start to listen. And their hearts start to turn to God. See, I, I, I have a lot of people that I know that are uh, relatives and things that, that I hear are, are like Freemasons and things like that. I still have hope for them. I still love them, even though they hate me. Because they don't understand what I'm doing, you know. They don't know what the hell is he doing, you know. But I don't let that change. I don't let that sway me. I know who God is. I know God intimately, you know. I know him. He's my father. So I keep doing what I can do. And, and um, my, my uh, I'm sorry about the darkness here. I really don't have light here. Uh, it's, it's in the middle of the night. What time? Oh, it's, yeah, close to the morning, but it's getting... It's in the middle of the night, you know, so I'm in the dark here, physically. But I'm in the light. Um, God has enlightened me, you know. So what I'm trying to say is that I try to, I'm not trying to uh, expose myself. I'm not trying to become a big shot or get a lot of views or anything. But I need to do the work, you know, of God. And to, to get the truth out. I don't want to be known. Otherwise, they'd put a stop to it, you know. So, um, you know, I have hope for so many people. Even that guy I mentioned, Robert King, you know, that had taken a lot of my stuff. And um, he may be working for the Watchtower, you know. It's like uh, second verse, same as the first, you know. Uh, when they leave the Watchtower, they find him because he has a, a very prolific channel. And then they can look at him and say, oh, no, this, he, uh, they hear something. But they say, oh, this guy is not quite right. He's about the same. And... You know, this, the, the deviousness of the devil and all of his systems that he has and all of his uh, organizations, they all work together to trap people. But when you find out that Jesus Christ is not in any of those traps, he's that lowly, lowly uh, uh, man that was with the fishermen, you know. Nobody saw him, nobody knew, nobody knew who he was, you know. Really, you know. So, um, uh, they didn't recognize him. And that's fine. You remember when he, after he was resurrected, he was walking with the two disciples? And they didn't know who he was, you know. And he just started, tell, you know, he was listening to them. And then he started to teach them. And finally their eyes were opened when he broke the bread. That, wow, that's him, that's Jesus. So, um, the work is the important thing. I don't want anything to do with credit or anything like that, you know, because it doesn't matter, you know. God is doing His work, and that's the important thing. 
So like I say, I have hope for all of those people. You know, the, 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 that they can see what they, they, they realize that they walked down the wrong way and got caught into a trap. But God can bring them out because He has all the power. He has all the knowledge and wisdom and He is feeding the sheep even if they don't know it. He's feeding them, feeding them and nourishing that wheat that's growing in His field. You know, at least I have hope for them because love is hope. When you love people, that's what means you hope for them. Even, even if they've done you evil, like Jesus says, forgive them, Father. They don't know what they do. Even though they've wanted to destroy you sometimes, you know, destroy your life. Look at what they did to Joseph, and Joseph forgave them all. That's of God. But this crybaby thing where they kick you out and you're pounding at the door. Oh, let me in, let me in. No, you know, if, you're, if you're from God, you don't want to go back in. You want to start, you're free now to do the work to really do the work of God. So don't be jealous of those people. You know? You're not trying to get in with them. Those that are doing God's work or they're not, you know? And there's all kinds of wickedness now, you know? There's people that pretend that I was speaking about Jehovah's Witnesses. So there's people that pretend that they're uh, not Jehovah's Witnesses. They're ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. Don't you think that Satan can plant them there? Don't you think that the Jehovah's Witnesses can plant them there? To look like, um, you know, to look like they don't know what they're doing either? So that people will flock back to the, the, to the organization, you know? And do I have hope for people in the organization? Of course I do. They don't know that they're being, uh, 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 that the very hierarchy of it thing is being controlled by Jewish Freemasonry and the Antichrist. They don't know that. But once they know that, you see, then they can come to the true Jesus Christ. So that's what we're working towards, you know, giving people knowledge through the light. The sunshine makes that wheat grow. The light makes it grow. And I don't want to become an object of, of, of hatred and be killed. I want to keep doing the work. You know? So I, I hope you understand that. So I, I sometimes I'll put up a video and I'll take it off. You know? And that's the reason. So, uh, you know, I, I, we'll see what happens. Let's just see what happens. I'm telling you the truth. The harvest is going to be great. Christ, Jesus Christ does not lie. The harvest is going to be great, man. Not just a little small one, not seven people, not eight people. It's going to be a great harvest. Because of many people have a good heart. that have taken the wrong way. And they know something's wrong. And they know it was wrong. But they don't know what to do. So Jesus Christ is feeding his sheep right now. Those that have the good heart, you know. They'll never be destroyed. The reason why those, the, the ones that are destroyed in Armageddon, those are the ones that have the evil heart that there's no hope for. That's why it says that they'll be punished with everlasting destruction because the light will be shining so bright that, you, that the evil people will choose evil. They will choose Satan. I mean, who, who in their right, who could ever choose Satan? Oh, oh, I want to die, so I'll follow Satan. Yeah, I want to die. But they're deceived, you see. So God is bringing light to them to make it plain. That no, you'd be a fool to follow Satan. If you want to die, go ahead. If you don't, you know, but there are people that have done wickedness and they, they, they didn't believe, have enough faith to know that there's God. That the, the Word of God is true. That Jesus Christ is real. That wickedness cannot... Uh, live and prosper forever. You know? Who would be a, such a fool to follow the devil to their own death? You see what's going on? You know, and these people making the devil signs and all. Yeah, go ahead, do it. For the, all those stupid people that think that evil is good, 
They're get, they're heading down the road to hell, man. To the lake of fire. You know? So be smart, man. Start doing good. Tell the truth. Love people. Love your neighbor. And I see people that have goodness in their heart. Love one another. Love your neighbor. Don't do evil to your neighbor. No matter who, who they are, how screwed up they are, you don't do evil to them. Because God loves the everyone. It's just what they do with it, what they decide to do. And it's all going to become so clear. Don't worry about a thing. I mean, as far as, oh, well, how about them? They didn't know. They didn't know. Everyone's going to know. It's going to be light. There's going to be understanding. The knowledge shall become abundant. And every man's going to know what it's all about before the whole thing is over. Everyone's going to have complete knowledge. And the choice they make, well, that's going to be their own choice. And they're going to know that uh, they're going to be destroyed, you know. That's why there's going to be such weeping and gnashing of teeth. Those that really have done such evil that they cannot repent. They cannot come back from it. They are truly chi children of Satan. And they will be destroyed. You see, you try to uh, make things a little clear, okay? Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.